In this video, I'll go over our DX scheduler on a simple web page. I'll show you how to edit separate recurrent appointments. A recurrent appointment is repeated many times during the same time interval. To create these appointments, I'll open the appointment detail form, name an appointment series as meeting, change the date and time information, and choose a recurrence rule. A recurrent appointment is rendered with the same time interval for specified dates. Now let's edit a recurrent appointment. When clicking Open Appointment, the scheduler displays a dialog that suggests choosing whether to edit the entire series or only the current appointment. We'll choose the entire series and change the meeting end time. As you can see, changes are applied to the entire series. Okay, let's edit the current appointment only. Click the Edit Appointment button and change the meeting time again. This time, changes are applied to the current item only. When we do this, the appointment is also removed from the series. So changes applied to the meeting series will no longer affect this appointment. Here's a simple web page with our DX Scheduler widget. It displays information on appointments, tasks, events, and other relevant data. I'll add a recurrent appointment. It has the start date and time of the occurrence and specifies a rule according to which the series will be repeated. A recurrence rule is set using the iCalendar RFC 2445 specification. Now let's see how this appointment looks. I can edit the entire series or the current item only. Let's only allow editing the whole series. To do this, I'll set the Recurrence Edit Mode configuration option to Series. Now the dialog that asks whether to edit the whole series or a separate item is no longer there, and I can only edit the whole series. And that's it! Make sure to check out the documentation on our website to learn more about the DX Scheduler widget. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.